Hello, my name is Teresa Palomar and this is SPF 301 Culture and Schooling. So for this topic, we are being asked to talk about uh, the achievement gap for lesson four. Um, the achievement gap is as stated, I got it off the internet probably wiki, wiki or most likely like um, just the definition of it is the achievement gap in the United States is observed persistent inequality in measures of educational performance among subgroups of the United States students, especially groups defined by socioeconomic status, race, ethnicity, and gender. So I have had an idea of about achievement gap. I, took an, I have taken a class before where we talked uh, briefly about achievement gap. So, and within that question, I'm being asked um, that what my proposed solution is and I should talk about it step by step. So my proposed solution is that I want to make sure, this might be obvious for all teachers, but I wanna make sure all of my students have the same opportunities, whether they are a very smart boy or a girl who faces challenges, an African-American girl or a Mexican girl or somebody who comes from a low poverty, um, I mean a high poverty versus a low poverty, so someone who is not necessarily fortunate enough, you know what I mean. Um, I wanna have my students to be able to come into the classroom and feel like that doesn't matter, like that's left at the door. Um, so what I wrote down, in my opinion, no one is better. Race, race slash ethnicity, gender or socio-economically wise. When you step into my classroom, you are treated the same. Um, the reason behind my solution is because I want kids, like I said, I want kids to feel equal. I want them to feel it in my class. I want them to understand that when I come to Miss Palomar's class, Mrs. Palomar's class, that I don't feel the weight or the burden of um, being poor or being a girl or being a boy or being Mexican or African-American. I want them to know that everyone feels the same as and they have the same opportunities. Um, the resources that are necessary for implementing my solution would be we need plenty of parent participation, school resources such as access to technology and free range of books and opportunities to travel outside of the school grounds. Um, just because I love hands-on education and I feel like that type of education is the kind where I can teach kids more equally. Like, yes, like there are some reason, like there are some things that kids don't understand or grasp, like reading, maybe they're having trouble reading at certain levels. Um, but I feel like hands-on education is all around an equal education where I can show them a frog and I can bring in a frog or we can go to a marina or we can go to an aquarium and they can hands-on learn. They can learn through the process of me explaining what they're looking at and what's in front of them. Um, an obstacle I will most likely face is parents and money will always be a factor as there will be some parents that do not allow or do not agree with how or what I'm doing to ensure this equality. Um, or on the other side, the school doesn't have enough money to where I would have to buy out of my own money, which is fine. Um, but sometimes it can be difficult, especially because this is a very technological world. Um, I would want to buy my kids all the books that I can, um, you know, so that we can have the opportunity. Because I feel like with the books, like the one that I'm reading right now, The Black Ants and Buddhism, is such a great read that anyone should, any teacher should read. And I could find books that kids connect to on a different level also. Um, what are the outcomes that I hope for? with my solution. Within the range of what I can achieve personally, I hope that I'm able to bring more opportunities to the kids and parents that don't understand 
that there are more options than they realize. Also, I hope that every student, although understanding differently, so although people learn at a different rate, I mean pace or um, people don't learn the same as I'm sure everyone knows now, um, I want them to have the option to learn or the opportunity to learn in the same way, in the same style, not the same like I want them to be able to have the same things, the same opportunities. Yes, I might have to um, change the ways that they take in the knowledge, but the opportunities are there of like the computers or tablets if needed or books or, um, you know, reading materials or like all the materials and resources required for the subject. All of them have the same opportunities, just taking it in differently. Um, also, I hope that one day in this education position that I would have as a teacher that I can help bring the same mentality that I have, if it's a right one, if, it, if, it, if people agree with it. Of course, people have different opinions on how to change the achievement gap, um, but I hope that I can bring some type of mentality of bringing together an equality of making the achievement gap because I know it's hard. It's been 50 years and we still haven't been able to figure it out in the past 50 years. So we're trying, but we can try harder. Um, why is it important to me and to my community? Well, living in Henderson, we have a wide range of socioeconomics and one kid might have an every single piece of technology at home while another doesn't have running water or electricity at all. Um, in my classroom, I want kids to feel safe and welcomed. Learning and school is a lot more than just education and teaching. Um, it's a safe space. It's a second home, and it's one that some that should be. It's a place where someone should want to feel like they want to be. Um, they want to have a better chance, and if even if it's for six hours a day, it's somewhere to go that they're like, I wanna. I'm excited to learn about this because Mrs. Palomar makes it exciting. She makes it understandable and relatable. I feel like when you are able to relate to kids where they is where they have the opportunity to grow. Um, I want them to, I hope to create an environment where kids want to come to class, not only to get away from home, but because they are interested in the way I am teaching and that they are learning a subject. Learning new things can be fun if done right. Thank you.